Today we're going to look at what's called geometric means. So what I want you to do is copy down these three tables and I want you to try to work in your groups and see if you can figure out what numbers go in the blanks. Now remember with geometric sequences we are multiplying by the same number. So go ahead and pause this video and I want you to see if you, how many of these you can do without my help. Now that you've had a chance to look at this and try to work these out, let me go ahead and show you a process that can be done to figure these out because these are really a lot of times a lot harder than the others. So we know we begin with 3 and we're going to be multiplying by the same number every time. We're going to call that number R since it's our ratio. And we know eventually it's going to equal 12. So how many steps do we have? It's 1, 2. So that means I need 2 of these R's. We could shorten that up by just go ahead and putting the number of steps up as my exponent. What we do now is we go ahead and we divide by 3 and we get r squared is equal to 4. Now because this is an even exponent there are two possible answers that we could have here because every positive number has two square roots. 2 times 2 is equal to 4, you know that but I want to challenge you and remind you that negative 2 times negative 2 also equals 4. So I could have two different ratios then. I could have positive 2 or I could have negative 2. We represent that with plus or minus 2. So if I multiplied by positive 2, this would have to be 6 and then 6 times positive 2 would be 12. But I could also do negative because 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 and negative 6 times negative 2 is positive 12. So the 6 there could actually be two different numbers. That's a little bit of a challenge so hopefully you at least found the 2 as my ratio and had at least the positive 6 up there. But I will remind you that there are actually two numbers there and that was because my exponent was even. If I look at the next one I know 7 times my R so how many R's are there? There's going to be 1, 2, three of them. So that would be cubed and they have to equal 875. If I divide both sides by 7 I get r cubed is equal to 125. Now that's a little bit harder. We're asking you really what number multiplied three times will give you that 125. So let me go ahead and pull out the right calculator. We need a scientific for this. And if I go ahead and push in the 125, now some calculators will have a cubic button. We could actually find the square root down there. And it's the, in the yellow of mine down there, right above the zero. If it's in the yellow or written on your calculator, that means you need to use this second key. So you can hit second key and then hit that button for me. And then notice it equals 5. That means 5 times 5 times 5 gives you 125. This one can only be positive because if you tried to go negative 5 times negative 5 times negative 5, that would give you negative 125. And that's because my exponent is odd this time. So there's only one ratio. Now, let me go ahead and show you a different way. So you could put 125 in there. Now, you also have, I have this really cool button that has, has the y as the radicand and then has my x up there as the root. You can hit that also, but when you do that, you have to tell it what root you're looking for. So we're looking for the third root and then I still get the 5. Okay? Okay, that'll take some practice. Let's go ahead then, and that's my ratio. 7 times 5 is 35. And then we want to go ahead and take the 35 and times that by 5, and I get 175. And I'm just going to double check, and I'm going to take my calculator, and I'm going to go 175 times 5. Does that equal 875? And yes, it does. Okay, so I want you to pause the video one more time and I want you to try to do number three if you weren't able to do it before. So go ahead and pause this video. All right, now that you've had a chance, let's take a look at this. So we know six times and there's one ratio times the same ratio 
and we have it four times this time. So here we're back to an even exponent, which means we could have two different ratios because we're going to equal this 96. So let's go ahead and divide by 6 because we need to isolate the r's. And 96 divided by 6 is 16. So what number multiplied by itself four times will give you 16? Well, if you don't know that, we could take our calculator again, and I can put in the 16. I'm going to hit my second key because the function I actually need is written on the calculator up here. And then I'm going to hit this key, and I want it to the fourth root, so that I have to put that in until I want the fourth root. And when I do that, I get 2. So the r is equal to 2. Now what's interesting is that this one can be positive or negative again. So I'm going to go ahead and write that. As long as you found the positive 2, I'm a happy teacher. So 6 times 2 is 12. So we're going to multiply the first time through by 12, or so by positive 2, sorry. 12 times 2 is 24. 24 times 2 is 48. And 48 times 2 is 96. Now it's interesting. What if I had chosen to use negative 2? So 6 times negative 2 is negative 12. So now that one could be either one. So I'm going to put the plus above that to show that. Negative 12 times negative 2 is actually positive 24. That one can only be positive. And then if I took this and multiplied it by negative 2, I could get negative. But remember, we had the positive before and then here. I know that's a little bit confusing, and I'm not here to answer any questions. But what I want you to do is at least understand the positive 2 part. So that leads us now into this next question that is in our task. And it says, are the missing terms you identified the only answers? And so we actually found some different answers. So if you only found the positive, we would say no. If there's an even, so let's go ahead and write that. Exponent. Okay. Then there are two possible, my pencil's having some issues, possible roots one negative and one positive. Okay. And so we kind of already answered that. So again, I want you to try number four. This time there are one, two, three, four, five ratios. So go ahead and pause the video again and I want you to try this one. Now that you've had a chance to look at this, I've done a little bit of work ahead of time. So 4 times is our beginning. Remember, we're multiplying. So 4 times whatever that number is, 5 times, and then we end up at 972. So if we isolate r to the 5th power by dividing by 4, you get r to the 5th power is equal to 243. So if I go ahead then and try to find that, I'm going to hit my second key because I need that function in there. And then I'm going to hit how many steps I had. So it was 5 equals 3. So that means my ratio is 3. And again, because it's odd, it's my only one. So 4 times 3 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. 36 times 3, I believe, is 108. And 108 times 3 is 324. And then I'm going to check this out on the calculator. 324 times 3 equals 972. So my ratio is 3, and those are my missing numbers. When we're trying to find the missing numbers of a geometric sequence, they are called geometric means. Thus the name of this task. They tried to play a little bit of a, of a word play with geometric meanies. Now, if we had something where you knew this number, then you would just have only one, two, three steps. So if I would have only given you, let's say, these numbers, then you would have done four times r to the one, two, three, r cubed equals 108, and you would have been able to find the ratio also that way. And then you could have found all the rest of the missing ones. All right, that concludes 1.1 task. Your assignment is 1.10 RSG.